one thing that the ATF is authorized to do is disband. You know, the right to bear arms is because that's the last form of defense against tyranny. Not to hunt, it's to protect yourself from the police. Not only no gun control, but you know, we're going to destroy the whole concept because the internet's going to serve guns. And we want our rights, and by God, we're going to keep them. Come hell or high water. The E-Militia Podcast, Episode 71, Another Cursed Holiday Special, and a Happy New Year, you fuckers. Okay, he he accepted it. Incredible. (laughs) He's acknowledged his name. All right. I changed his permission. It's busy. Oh, okay, cool. I would have no idea how to do that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Um, Everyone good to go? Yep. Yeah. All right. Well... Merry Christmas, people. It's the e Christmas special, a third one we've done, because we're consistent. <laughs> consistent and organized. Yep. Which That's one way to say it, I guess. Yep, yep. Uh, <laughs> so, joining me today, I have Mel, I have Miss Buckles, Guns is otherwise occupied working because he's a fucking bore, uh, <laughs> and no one else showed up. But, uh, apart from our guests, we have uh, Ace. Ace August. Merry Christmas, guys. We have Fat Dave. Merry Christmas, everybody. Formerly Fat Dave. He's dead. Yeah. Now, but yeah. <laughs> just uh... now, now fat phobic. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we, uh, we, we dragged him off the farm. Trigy Confucius <laughs> is joining us. Hello, hello. First time you've opened your laptop since April. Yeah, I don't use my computer. Why would I use my computer when I have a tractor? I fucking love it. I fucking love it. All right, so um, you know, when I say we're here to celebrate Christmas, we we all know what that means. You're listening to an e-militia podcast, so once again, Mel is punishing your ears and ours, um, with some form of cringe. <laughs> what what are we doing this year, Mel? So the first year we had uh rap music <laughs> from the wonderful <laughs> artists of Trump.com. Second year, we had liberals melty down in their cars. <laughs> and I think we talked about uh, doing conservatives this year, but we had a better opportunity. When I was scrolling TikTok one day and I saw some vaccine propaganda videos. Oh, God. <laughs> They're horrible. Um, <sighs> so either by the end of this episode, you're going to want to uh, jump off a cliff or go get vaccinated. Yeah, so we're really doing a community service this year. My um, computer was not cooperating, so Ace is going to play the clips at random, and we're going in yeah. this blind. Just tell me when you want me to play them, <laughs> and I'll. Uh... <laughs> yes, the guest is playing What's all the. What's the safe uh... word so you stop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh okay. wait, wait, wait! Before, before yeah, we... I'm just saying it up. I'm just saying it up. Yeah. Before we begin, uh, I. Basically, uh, we have a selection, a fine selection, of various um, vaccine TikTok or pro-vaccine TikToks, and I've uh, just going through them for the sake of ease. I was trying to give them uh, some track names, kind of like a you know a Christmas album, um, <laughs> just, just so you know we could get in the spirit with our, our Christmas music. I need to find this stuff. Unfortunately, I took two edibles, so this is gonna be fucking impossible. <laughs> Yeah, I'm um, sure over my speaker you're going to hear me just kick the stool out from under myself as I try to right. hang myself at about halfway yeah. through. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ignore the right. clatter in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so y'all were, y'all were joking about me getting the vaccination before coming on the show because I totally went and got three shots just because. Oh, nice. You know, I was just <laughs> making sure. I just doing my duty. Yeah, you're Only three. Right? I got six or seven at least. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> you both should be autistic enough now for an English year episode, so that's, that's right. all. <laughs> Um, all right, so some of these My track heart names. Is literally racing to do this episode. I, I, I'm so Ugh. excited. Your excitement <laughs> is <right>. so scary. <laughs> so, so just to just to give you a, a quick flavor before we jump into it, some of the track names I've I've uh, I've got. We have uh, HIPAA violation. I'm oh. I'm vaccinated times three. Let's hang out. Oh no. I'm a Pfizer girl in a Pfizer world. Oh, oh no. God. <laughs> and. Just Aww. like the media talked about. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's. That's uh, the name. Oh, we, we have plenty. We have plenty more than that. But uh, <laughs> I, oh. I, I'll, 
just a little a little tease, a little appetizer, but just sit back, take a drink, enjoy the show. Yeah. In, I feel like this is the everybody. same anxiety I have before I do get an actual shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't no, want I, it. I'm I'm actually a little concerned. <laughs> This is your vaccine oh. against cringe. Um, Do we get a lollipop I, after and a sticker? Yeah. You're going to have to edit this out, but since you joined the anime stream and had so much trouble, I thought I'd let everybody know. To see Ace's stream, you have to click on his name, and then you'll see um, watch stream. Oh, so you're going to make us watch oh, the yeah. videos with it, not just the audio? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. No. Oh my god. <laughs> so much work. Just trying to trying to avoid technology and <laughs> oh, dragging him back out of the cabin. <gasps> you got to oh, you have to show this on the pod if you played on YouTube. You've got to like is there oh, any way yeah. you can screen grab this and show it on there doing it or something because I mean it's going to add mm. another 10 levels of cringe to this that everybody <laughs> needs to see while we watch it. Yeah, You're I've already right. gone half Ted. This is going to make me go the rest this of the way. Go <laughs> here, we're just going to uh, hear Trigy like wrapping up boxes and like in the middle, <laughs> mailing packages. I'll be able to add the videos in over the uh, the audio. So yeah, we'll be we'll be good. Trigy's like, where's my fucking fertilizer at? I need to get the shit going, man. <laughs> See, the only disagreement I have with Ted is that Ted wouldn't buy a tractor. Oh, I have right. a tractor. You already yeah, have a yeah. tractor. Yeah. Tractor's a fucking mm -hmm. awesome Ted. Come on. Yeah. Ten steps ahead of the Ted, bro. <laughs> right, when you guys are in here, I'll uh, play it whenever you guys want. I'm good to go. I'm good. Everybody else? All right, I'm in. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's vaccination day. It's vaccination day. Let's go outside, let's go explore. Uh, Won't be afraid of people anymore. No longer have to buy all my clothes from Sheen. China. For months I've been inside these walls, sat in pajamas on Zoom calls. Finally, I'm getting the vaccine. There'll be lots of reuniting and shopping trips galore. And I've forgotten what a hug felt like before. Jesus. For the first time, God, I hope she ends up on Vares. <laughs> Maybe because she looks young and There'll be heels. Oh, no. For oh, the first no. Time She's also just bad at this in general. It won't be <laughs> Does anybody know where her OnlyFans is? <laughs> and I know it is totally crazy to shake somebody's hand. Wait, no, I'm not doing that stuff. Oh. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> groan. Oh yeah, collective groan. <laughs> you want to know, like, the first thing that sticks out for this video? She didn't have any friends to help her with the scenes that required friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. She wasn't <laughs> She couldn't even stand to pretend to shake. I don't know oh if this was God. a Discord thing or, like, actually the problem with the TikTok, but, like, the audio was also off. So, like, oh, her, off like the too. mouth. Okay, it was off for me. It was all for me too. I think it might just be the video. Okay, okay that'd be yeah. really funny if it was just her TikTok and she's just that yeah. bad. <laughs> that right, bad. Yeah. She just kind of lip sync the shit. Yeah, I think that actually might be what it is. Actually, that, that, that's like the key to TikTok, and so many people don't have that skill. I'm always like, why the fuck does this platform? Wait, wait. So yeah. I, I do want to ask, when was that one probably taken? Because do you think that was like whenever oh. the vaccination first came out, and so they thought that was, they were like. All right, it's here. We're the savior. They they didn't think about the you know their four booster shots they're gonna need, and they still can't go out of their house. Yeah, yeah. Can I? Where's the sequel, honey? I want to see that one. Right, exactly. Where's the... <laughs> she's just crawling on she all fours for her booster? Yeah. Her heart also, is happy ending. Actually. Happy <laughs> ending. No, I mean that. Uh, no, I... <laughs> I mean it's not a. She sad fell one, out on the but... soccer field. Wait, wait, wait! You guys are vaccine hesitant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Call me. laughs> don't assume my i didn't know that right. I'm mask and back all right so, wait wait so i do have one question mel so you found all of these right yeah so what the fuck were you doing on tiktok where you found all of these <laughs> what, what is your algorithm like to where you these are you guys, showing up in your 
I'm terrified to think what you guys might to know, like. but I acquired the Fox News Network TikTok handle. I don't really know how this happened. I just randomly was guessing things. So what? I uh, I landed that handle and I go on there and I say mean things to political people all the time. And so my algorithm this is super is. political. That I just get political videos, and the vaccine has become political, so it's up there. Wait, wait, wait. you're a TikTok troll. Yeah. I I also have to I clarify. You. you were saying you were just trying things out. That that that's not like trying out usernames. <laughs> were you just mashing in passwords to to like a Fox account? <laughs> no. <laughs> she no, she the hacked, Fox News she hacked the Fox News. <laughs> 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 no. Hey, Trump for life. Everybody. Trump for life. 2020 is not a, uh, a hard pass or a guess, man. Like, it's... <laughs> there's like a. I actually like, yeah, have more time. than one, but I thought I would hold the um, the handles hostage. Like, I don't know if you guys know who Keith Olbermann is. I have his handle yes. too. Like... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you you can do so many mean things with that. It'd be great. A wild yeah, like, the... you just appeared. Yes. Welcome. <gasps> Yay! My hey guys. favorite thing to do is to like when people tag the Fox News channel in a story because they want them to cover it. I have been saying, uh, I've been trying to get Hannity to cover this, but he won't. <laughs> 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 My coworker gave me that idea, and I've been doing it, and it's so funny. It's you should change to Rush Limbaugh and just see how many people catch on. Oh, I'm happy to try to name there. <laughs> Well, Clucker Carlson will happily cover it. And for those who don't know, that's my rooster. My rooster's name is Clucker Carlson. That's gross. <laughs> so that explains how. So what are y'all talking about? We, oh, so uh, as you know, we celebrate Christmas in a very special way in the militia. And yes. uh, this year's particular flavor of cringe is uh, pro-vaccine TikTokers. Oh, okay. Nice. It's uh, it's a musical. As usual. <laughs> I hate it. I, are you here, for a, <laughs> you here for a good time or a long time? <laughs> uh, I'm here for a few minutes. I just heard y'all were hopping in Discord, and I'm on break right now, so I figured I'd pop in and say hello. Hey. Say Merry Christmas. Uh, I think you mean Happy and... Holidays. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> hey, hey, Guns, this is uh, Fat Dave. But I, so I just want to tell you one thing. Please bring back your hellhole of the Discord that you had. That shit was so fire. So, but, <laughs> uh, but it got hacked. I, I think like three different Terra cells were born out of that group <laughs> 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 that we had nothing to do with. <laughs> that was that was the best three days of my <laughs> life. I'll tell you that. That was <laughs> yeah. The weird. one not fed involved in the uh, in kidnapping the governor of Michigan came out of that Discord. <laughs> Authentic OG stuff. <laughs> I might do it again one day, but it took a lot of energy and then it defeated me, so my spirits are down. <laughs> uh, but how's how's Chris how's December going for you? It's been busy as fuck, man. I feel that dude. Are you are you feeling very Christmassy? I'm not feeling very Christmassy, sadly. <laughs> um what also, the, why do you think that is? Today I woke up to a fraud notification for my card and I had like five charges for $75.19 from Amazon that I didn't order. So I'm trying to get that worked out now. So Yeah, uh, sorry. I'll refund that real quick. <laughs> Please do. I just hope you called Amazon. These butt plugs are not mine. I swear to God. Like I did not I buy these. Wanted one. That's, I only a, wanted one. that's a high-end butt plug. <laughs> 75 bucks All wait it's that. five each uh wait it was five 75 dollar each yeah uh, uh orders yeah. oh okay damn okay so i thought it was like fun for the whole family <laughs> yeah you know they're actually made of jade so uh i can get better energy in my life <laughs> cleansing but yeah man very, very powerful i just been working a shitload and got called in to work tonight so i couldn't make the podcast but since y'all are on Discord, I figured I'd pop in for a couple minutes. I love it. We should actually bug Rebs, because he said that if it was, like, on his phone, he could jump in. So maybe we'll have, like, a fucking oh, yeah. little... Uh, we'll have a little telephone kind of thing. 
<laughs> Buckles, I like your yes, PSP. Thank you. What is that supposed to be, sexy Gumby? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, all right, guys. I'm going to get back to work, but it was good seeing y'all. Rip. <laughs> See you guys. Have Later. Fun, guys. Does he just new phone who dissed me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Rebs did? Yeah, I told him to join via text, and he's like, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. If anyone if anyone wants to make a Mormon joke, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell them it's Fox News Network. <laughs> and we want you to have a live conversation <laughs> about the vaccines. All right. Um, we want to carry on. <laughs> Load up another clip. Yep. All right. You guys ready for this one? Yeah, this one's Asian. It's even worse. As ready as I yeah. can be. <laughs> It's vaccination day! It's vaccination day! Appointments are open, I'm group four. I don't have to stay here anymore. I'm sick of eating takeout on these plates. The time indoors has got me stressed, but I just checked on CVS. Finally, they're giving me some dates. I'll see actual real life people. It'll be totally strange. I might even get to go see Nothing even happening. She's just sitting there. Just, she doesn't do anything. For the first time in forever. What country is this? I'll hang out with someone else. Love you. But for the first time in forever, I won't watch sports by myself. Because you don't like sports, you know? I can... What? What? Oh. Can she put the mask back on? Her teeth like, are fucked die. up. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people like masks to cover their busted faces. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's why Britain's been in lockdown for so long. <laughs> <laughs> it is only, like, only like two dentists. They're like, yes, we've been praying for this for so long. <laughs> mask fished. Dude, it, it oh. is crazy how much like you uh, like somebody that is like a four can turn into an eight pretty easily with a mask. <laughs> like, I mean, if you have just good looking eyes, I mean, yeah. you are a dime piece. And then you take Eyeliner off your mask. mascara, you have good eyes. Like guys can, you know, if you don't see the jawline, like a dude looks good in <laughs> mascara. So. Is that how dudes find chicks in Saudi Arabia? Is it like, is this just how we're doing it now? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Like I, I can't imagine just that that uncovering. I don't know when they actually uncovered their face the first time, but I don't know. I mean, it probably happened countless times where they uncovered and they were just like, "Ooh, God!" Like, oh, what a I again. would want to be there for that. <laughs> I want to be there for the reveal. <laughs> Although if it's Saudi Arabia, they can probably just afford to pay to fix it too. So, oh, they just stoner. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'd like to trade in this model. I didn't like the unboxing. <laughs> that, okay, so one. Oh where my was, god! That had what country was that? Because it, it was not the U.S. I'll tell you that. Oh, it's like the Philippines what? or something. Yeah, it looked like some kind of some Asian, some kind of country, some kind of country. Buckles, yep. yeah. <laughs> Buckles, you just said that, and it made me think of. I wonder if there's like a YouTube like side. Where it's just Arab dudes unboxing their wives and seeing them for the first time. <laughs> I would watch that. <laughs> oh my god! I would you? watch that. Holy! A uh, control pew. Just control oh, pew. Hey. What's up, Merry buddy? What is Christmas. up? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, homies. Doing the stream for a good time. <laughs> what? Oh, are you are you are you actually recording right now? Oh yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, hang on. Let me, let me put my headset on. You <laughs> jumped right into the middle of the episode. <laughs> I posted an announcement and told everybody to join if they wanted to. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, she literally just dropped the link on Twitter. Do you think For the First Time in Forever <laughs> is, like, the worst song they could use to, like, parody all these? Do you think there's a know. worse song you could think of? There's always something worse than what you can think of. It's That's like, true. <laughs> but there's also like, no good version of this anywhere, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Like, right, you guys ready for it? feels extra evil corporation y. Well, the, the other thing I want to point out with that last one is mm -hmm. she said, I could finally like hang out with you or whatever. And I'm pretty sure that was her mom. Yeah, oh, get out of like, yeah. She looked like a kid too. I, I, I felt bad about judging the kid, but is that just, they all look like they're 16. Like, <laughs> right. 
But she was rocking <laughs> two masks and a face shield, I think. She was yeah. she was going full decked out. Yeah, like Ryan yeah. Gibbs. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And, and like yeah, for a year, before. apparently she didn't see her parents or something like that, and then they go eat with them and she was just like, God, oh people god. Oh god. People it can't be under it can't be understated rooms. how terrible COVID has been to like morons. Like Oh just, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But I think so the worst thing to come out of these two videos. Like it's insane. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah, I think the worst thing to come out of these two videos is the chicken tendies in that first video looked really good and I really want tendies <laughs> right, now. Exactly. I also <laughs> had an edible like an hour ago, so that's, that's probably yeah, kicking yeah. in. Yeah. Edible gang gang. We're all gonna be fucked up and munchy together. <laughs> Just getting irritable as fuck because we're recording. <laughs> By the way, have you have you noticed um how many people, even after like getting the vaccine or whatever, still want to use masks? Not because they think it's going to protect them from the virus; they just think it's a good thing to do, regardless. Mm-hmm. Have you right. noticed that at all? Oh yeah, I that's... I'm so pro- I'm so pro. I'm like absolutely about them doing that because it. Right. Just... I look at a person, I'm like, <laughs> you know? it makes it so much <laughs> easier to judge a book by its cover. It's are. not even funny. Exactly, it's a good yeah. filtering mechanism. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, like, oh, it's like, oh I don't, don't want to associate to with you. you. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. It, it sucks that society's like segregating itself, but it's also kind of like on them. So right, <laughs> like, well, you're doing it to yourself, dude. You can <laughs> you can opt yeah. out whenever. <laughs> but yeah, you guys ready for this next one? This looks no. bad. We're starting off at a trailer park, so we're going yeah. good. <laughs> I love the rainbow. Like this yeah, trailer park good. preschool. Okay. <laughs> oh, a gay trailer park preschool is what it is. <laughs> Welcome. Oh. You want the one or two jabs? Oh, Jesus Christ. Two jabs, is it? <laughs> That's all you get here at Hell Crew. Oh. What you know about the getting horse. there a vaccine? Can go into the poor birth, sit down to eat your treat. It like a what? second class citizen. Why Lee over at Curra sucking on a penis? Is what you know about getting there what? a vaccine? I'll be what? the what? last man like, yeah. 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 won't infect me. But nothing but like, good coming right 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 out of your mouth. You dirty these men like, talking in the country to the ground. My body, my choice. That was literally great value, Tiger King. Holy shit! <laughs> wow, that's the okay, best one yet, by the way. This vaccine propaganda. That one was actually entertaining, just <laughs> but like on a uh, holy shit, this guy's insane level. Like, I think they wanted like a character of like a va- anti-vaccine person. Oh, he was, he was trying to from. be like white. It was a caricature. Or that would make yeah. sense. Because I feel like I smell bad now after watching. It. Yeah, I, I, I'm still considering it vaccine propaganda because, like, he's busted looking. He's weird. Absolutely. He's doing all sorts of, like that was like a fever. That wasn't dream. a caricature. That was just the guy. Like the the <laughs> lyrics were the character part. <laughs> yeah. I, th- I think he's trying to be like an Irish chav, which I've never seen. Because if you're poor in Ireland, usually you just want to bomb people. You know, I've, I don't really, don't really have time well, to be. First like, of all, that sounds pretty based, right. to be honest. No, it, it, also, it is. I'm pretty sure he was what like an Irish chav. Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Irish. <laughs> no, but he was an Irish tiger king. Except instead of tigers, he had mini ponies. Yeah. And he had a mullet and he was talking about sucking on penises. So I, yeah. I think he checks all the boxes. He should get his own Netflix show. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Can someone tell me what he was eating? That's what I want to know. That looked like scrambled penises, eggs probably. First, but I, I couldn't tell. Did you want to eat it too? Is this a memory test? Because that's offensive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know there's a pop quiz. <laughs> <laughs> also, it looks like he was drinking Heineken. Which kind of really set me off yeah. because, like, you would think he'd be drinking Guinness, but whatever. That's just that's another <laughs> oh, one. Oh, oh, would, he, would, would, he, would he be fucking a, a sheep too? Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, just their mini pony. Come on. <laughs> There's still livestock involved. Yeah, yeah there always is. This <laughs> next one, fucking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm already heard soy me. boys already. <laughs> this oh, is uh-huh. be- being an I wholly judge people by their footwear, and I'm already uh, mm-hmm. hold on. The lady's in nursing school, so I'm gonna give her a headphone. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, get her oh. <laughs> okay, she's here, she's ready for it. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, let's go. Be. Being 
and an anti-vax nurse is such a strange, strange thing to be. Why even bother with nursing school if you don't believe in vaccines? You must not be very bright. You're no Thomas Edison. She wasn't a nurse. When your day job is just medicine, <laughs> how could you mistrust medicine? I mistrust that mustache. What the fuck are going on the shorts? Like hiring a blind optometrist, like a Catholic school science class, or a polyamorous monogamist. A scuba diver with no arms or legs A good song by 100 gigs A Rick and Morty super fan That has ever come close to say It's a GED What? A boss baby Someone who moved out of their hometown Joining a multi-level marketing scheme A homosexual Republican uh. Rick Moranis' his kids not being shrunk again a Democrat who gets something done, sending a dick that she actually wants. A good police officer. Based. Okay, I feel like a lot of these. Yeah, a lot of these were actually like pretty good insults <laughs> or whatever they're trying to. But the whole premise of it is totally off. <laughs> so but I do have a problem. Rick Moranis did blow up his kid one time. That was like the first movie. Right? So, the and then he walked through Las Vegas and played the fucking hard rock guitar guitar thing. So, I it's not totally factual. I sure. blew up the kids. <sighs> and if Democrats didn't get anything done, I mean, I was just be looking at thirty-five percent inflation next summer. <laughs> I was upset by the ableist comments of yeah, how do you know that as uh, somebody that does have has no arms or no legs can't scuba dive? Now I'm looking for pictures right the of that on the internet. They would, they would sink like a rock. As <laughs> <laughs> <They would, yeah. laughs> any other man. Fuck you. The moment they started seeing, I got put into a trance and just wanted to die. <laughs> but see, that scuba diver could probably do the whole Little Mermaid thing where he kind of like flaps his body. You know, and yeah, tries to. I've definitely seen like nuggets. Yeah. I mean, if you've before. got stubs, you could do it. Yeah. Yeah, with no, well, no momentum, you can. You yeah. can float on your back. By the way, I, I still think it's really cool that they actually did. They kind of made fun of both. They both made fun of Republicans and Democrats, and then they also mm -hmm. made fun of cops. It was like there was a yeah, lot of good things there. Good. They might and be like, uh, socially liberal and fiscally conservative. <laughs> These are those are those, those are libertarians. Those are actually the real libertarians. Everybody keeps talking about. I, I yeah, they're actually on the board of the LP. Believe it or not, yeah. those two. Uh, this this was their uh, their summer internship at Cato. This was their summer project, actually. Andy Craig was actually the cameraman. <laughs> 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 oh uh, god this one looks really bad but wait wait so you said so wait did someone say that their uh girlfriend was a nurse or studying to be a nurse what did she say about yeah, it? yeah my my wife is in nursing school right now and she well, i mean most of it wasn't i thought more of it was gonna be about nursing but i mean she can she can tell you what she thought of it real quick let's come over here babe call me your wife i did yeah that's because we're married that happened <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah 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 Girls get like, get really excited over the littlest things. <laughs> yeah, right. Seriously, I'm excited over your penis. So obviously, that's true. Oh, thanks. That's cool. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah. So, what do you think about uh that that last TikTok about nursing things? With the scuba diver. Yeah, with the scuba diver. I think that was the only thing she took out of it. Was the scuba <laughs> diver. No, no, it, and legs. I think we can all agree it was very ableist. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Rude. Yeah. Many microaggressions in that. So Do anti I posted a picture. Do. Uh, yeah, they absolutely do. And there's there's also like um, nurses that are pro vaccine but anti COVID vaccine, which I think is a lot more reasonable. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've there are absolutely um, anti vax nurses. I've met a couple, and a few of them are just absolutely <clears throat> batshit crazy. <laughs> But I'm excited because her TikTok um, dancing class is next semester. So <laughs> been saying that joke for two years. So. Uh huh. It's true. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't get old either. Yes, it does. <laughs> Stays relevant. Are you gonna be as good as the nurse as Thomas Edison was? I just want to make sure because they yeah. mentioned that in the video. 
So but yeah, and I kind of agreed with them. I was like, they're absolutely right. I am not the brightest person, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, she can barely change a light bulb, let alone make one. True. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take my headphone back okay. now. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that this she's gone, so let's go to the next one. <laughs> this one looks so terrible already. I don't know. Yeah, she's way too. Whenever excited. they start off running, yeah. Whenever they start yeah. off running, that's you know. Oh, I'm no. vaccinated. Oh, God, that poor dog. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot how to socialize. What do I say? What do I do with my hands? Quarantine's made me an oh. introvert. Let's go. The chick with the black hair looks Lost like Jean Ralphio's sister from Parks and Rec. <laughs> Money, please. <laughs> I hate how that whole like that lockdown thing has become like a personality. Oh, I'm yes. social. Oh my gosh, I'm so good on Zoom. Or I, I'm an I'm introvert like... now, lady. That's my whole life. <laughs> You're not cool. <laughs> yeah, it's not the cool. Real brain vibes, like. You merely adopted being an introvert. I was born yeah. it. Molded by it. Exactly. Also, how does she forget what to wear out? Like, it's yeah, like, you're already it, bad it, at that before. Yeah. Well, also, like, it's not like the... Yeah, I guess some people did. Well, I guess some people did actually, like, not go out at all for a year. Like, they just didn't uh, leave their house. It was like, so that nice not having those people out in society. That's I true. wish they would just stay in their house. I was and doing not that before the lockdowns, for the record. Right. It's not going. In fact, in fact, as an introvert, my favorite time to go out was when those people were in their homes. So that was great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess so it's like that that Michael Malice thing about the um, I want to raise the minimum wage to get rid of minimum wage workers. <laughs> it's like yeah. I want to I want to have lockdowns. I am get rid oddly of pro people. lockdown now. You guys convinced <laughs> me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Funny how opinions change, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's right. <bring> <laughs> Um, I already hate it. Ask anti vaxxers oh. if they got the vaccination. That's our next video. By the way, why aren't these 90% women? Is that a. Oh, oh and a... they're all funny looking. Like, this chick has some <laughs> wide. Yeah, ears and they're all them. white, too. So, <laughs> so they're just all... yeah. white women. Well, because they have the time to do this because they don't have real enrichment things in their lives like friends and family. And... Yeah. <laughs> Because they're too busy you mean being an home. HR manager is not a fulfilling <laughs> aspect of their lives? That's crazy. Have, have you also, met my mom? I, you know, <laughs> she's in HR. It's awful. Not, <laughs> none of these videos are filmed in the kitchen, and it's really bothering. So. <laughs> That's right. Don't worry. The wife is making stuffed shells right now, so we can redeem yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna play this if you ask anti-vaxxers if they oh, got the vaccination... Yeah. Some seem to think that asking that's a HIPAA violation. But unless you're a medical professional leaking private information, it's just a question they don't like still leaking. Oh my god, her As ears are huge! <laughs> 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 trying to ban things you know that, that you don't like ask of you. Here's some other things I think should be HIPAA violations too. She can hear COVID. How are you doing today? HIPAA violation. I feel Pepsi like she okay. overhears a lot. HIPAA violation. Is someone sitting here? <laughs> HIPAA violation is music your career. HIPAA violation is your yeah. rising mood That's and sun. HIPAA violation. Have you seen Hamilton? HIPAA violation. That thing where the is server says your enjoy career? your meal and you say you too instead of saying thank you because they don't have a meal. You idiot. Just think for three seconds before you speak. HIPAA violation. See, I can totally believe that her voice actually sounds like that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't well, that lip was, syncing, Trudy. Was... I had thought about that because you said all the that they're all women, like white women and all the music is whiny white men. It's mm -hmm. awful. Yeah. It's Genre terrible. for everyone. <laughs> God, did you see the fucking head on those ears? Jesus Christ. <laughs> So oh, by the way, underrated looking. about her was those that nose too. She had a hook nose like a motherfucker. <laughs> like, oh yeah, she went full <laughs> fucking toucan on that nose. 
<laughs> thought she was going to try well, and sell me fruit loops or something. Comparing them to, it's like, well, tell me about your last sexual experience. Like, did you get a dick injection? Like, that's you know, that's kind of privacy level we're talking about, girlfriend. Oh wait, you have it. So she tried to put a dick in her mouth, but then her nose hit the torso a before she actually get in there. So. It's still like awkward to talk about. Yes. Talk about so medical. private. Yeah. Yeah, privacy. And even if it isn't a HIPAA violation, it's like it, it doesn't feel like socially acceptable to just ask people about that. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah I never went up to anybody it. and said, "Hey, man, you still you got your measles vaccine, dude?" I, right. <laughs> I'm not gonna hang out with you. you don't have your measles vaccine, dude. Like, I'm not yeah. getting measles. Like, I've never... <laughs> if any of us went into our boss's office and was like, "Hey, when was your last prostate exam?" <laughs> right. You get fired yeah. or have to talk to HR. Yeah. Or you'd be real in for a really good time. Have you, you yeah, go I was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me it's a good time. I did agree with her, though, that is Pepsi okay? It should totally be a HIPAA violation because it's not. It's <laughs> oh, not okay. God. Oh, oh, my. Oh, God. <laughs> this one is called Vax Bunny. But this, oh. one's called, this one's called about to be 40%. Oh, before you play this next one, I got to uh-huh. tell you, and this is going to be very heartbreaking because... Honestly, I'm a fan. See this thing here? This SSRI eyes. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a friend. Um, she <laughs> is covering a Dolly Parton song that Dolly Parton actually sang. Oh, I, I remember this. I know what the song you're talking about. Yeah, I think I know what song you're talking about. So you can go ahead and play it. I'm sorry to tell you guys that Dolly Parton is singing this. Damn. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Vaccine, 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 vaccine. I'm begging of you, please don't hesitate. Vaccine, 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 vaccine. Because once you're dead, then that's a bit too late. <laughs> yeah, it really bums oh, me out that Dolly Parton went full, full cuck on that one. Mm-hmm. But also, I mean, I'm pretty sure her, the jokes but... that I want to make is why I got kicked off Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, she wears wigs and has big fake titties. I don't listen to her anyway about life. Yeah. So, why do these people actually think that, like, if you don't get the vaccine, you will 100% die? It is the weirdest, like, like, huge step that they take. Or that if they do take the vaccine, they're free. Like, they get back to normal. yeah, and so many of us are just like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you guys are out here again? Oh, hi. Well, well, <laughs> well, here's the thing. All these, like like I said, all these TikToks were probably made back when the vaccine first came out. And they were yeah. being told that if you got the vaccine, you could no longer either get infected or infect other people. Which, <laughs> yeah. as we've seen now, is totally not fucking true. Right. That's what they were told. And so they thought if they got the vaccine, they would literally be never die again or something. And then also <laughs> yeah. never have to worry about infection either. So, but I mean, for all the podcatchers out there, just know that this is not medical advice, and you should speak to your doctor about what you think is best. Yes, thank you. Trudy. No, fuck your doctor. Yeah, no problem. I got you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honestly, that probably isn't bad. That's probably a good culture. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, I think I know this one. Oh, this one's yeah. called Joe R. Biden. <laughs> oh no! no I I is, wait, is this, the, is this the Jonas Brothers one, or the, no? It's not. It can't be. Is it? I don't know. Hope that, hope that one's in here. Please welcome the president of the United States, <laughs> Joe R. Biden. Come on, folks, let's get back on oh, yeah. the town. With all those jabs, I'm gonna work this out and bring our cases down. That looks about the age of the kids that Joe sniffs. <laughs> I'm trying oh, to cool. pass my reform I feel like bitch, show me some leg back. Really want to see. Here, don't think I ever will. And still on top of this, we're in a health crisis with all those jabs. Come on down and get a shot or two. Of all those jabs, but shooting oh, shots. Is oh my god! god. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, so I threw up to him. <laughs> Most Republicans are not a that fan looks better than of our multi-trillion-dollar <laughs> budget plan. But whilst our team so moves, right. we're trying to distribute and do those 
I'm willing to bet that was published on January 5th of last year and drove everyone to do what they were going to do. Uh, that was the worst. No, I think that was the worst one. That was oh the worst one, but honestly, the best voice out of any of them. That oh, yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'm actually sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. You, just, yeah. you just put that energy to something else, kid. Right. Yeah, like something that was like his... He says he's Joe R. Biden and he's not hiding. When that's exactly what this administration has been doing. He's been like... <laughs> For his health or whatever reason, he's been like running the White House basically from Zoom or whatever. <laughs> it's just very odd. He doesn't have hands. That was yeah, he doesn't. True. That was that was the worst one. I wanted to throw myself down a flight of stairs. All that, crazy all that they, jabs. It's yeah. crazy that they got behind. That's that's who they got behind was Joe Biden. Like the, that's who they're making their idol. It's just a very weird like mm-hmm. the guy. Like, yeah, imagine of all people you're out of being Joe Biden. Yeah, like if you look into his past at all, if you look at anything he voted for, if you look at anything that he's done, like it's all <laughs> terrible. Every bit of it. Like on yeah. both sides of the aisle would understand that it's terrible. But I mean, I guess because he, you know, was down with vaccinations, he's awesome now. So, yeah. Like just oh my god. Yeah, that was that was terrible. My favorite was, part of the video w- w- was the skinny Republicans. Right? <laughs> Mitch McConnell wasn't 500 pounds <laughs> and was suspiciously not turtly enough. I was like, What? Whenever, what I see, this... like, whenever I see Biden and then the Air Force One in the background, I always think of that video when he falls down uh, on the steps going. <laughs> oh, I legit <laughs> thought he was gonna do that. I thought he showed that just because he was gonna, I mean, at least do a little bit of poking fun at Biden. Of where he would trip or something, but I mean, I guess that's even too much. Like you yeah, cannot, yeah. you can't make yeah. any joke about the uh, the chosen one or whatever. Right. Supreme leader. You get old people supporting Biden because they're like dumb and old. But when young people, <laughs> dumb and old. Why? <laughs> well, what happened? That whole thing. Better. Do you remember that like whole uh, point that was going out? I mean, it was probably back in like 2016 when they were talking about how like Zoomers were the most like conservative kids like ever out of like Mm -hmm. most conservative generation coming up like but then you get on tiktok and you see all the bullshit on there with these kids Mm -hmm. and it's all like gen zers every one of them it's ridiculous and i think we may have to go um evaluate that last video a little bit more i don't actually want to but just to see if he was really accurate where he connected his earlobes then disconnected his earlobes at randomly throughout the video <laughs> to see which body double it was. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Which Biden was also it? The, did he have the skin tags sticking out too? Were those sticking right. the... <laughs> well, Jen, Jen Psaki is just like a failed Biden clone. <laughs> 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 that would be an alternate universe that I would like to explore a little bit is the Jen Psaki Biden clone. Yeah. The Jen Saki is part Mark of the Bad Zuckerberg Batch. Clone. Oh, yeah, she is. That's right. Yeah. If you look at her, she looks just like him. It, she really does. Shit, Morty, probably... we screwed it up. Yeah. We screwed it up big time, Morty. <laughs> oh, my God, it's totally fucked. She has just <laughs> shelves of sweet face. baby rays at home. I turned myself into Jen Psaki Morty. I turned this. <laughs> 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 oh god 
It's Zacky Rick. <laughs> Rick. Look at me. I'm a dumbass, Morty. Look at me. <laughs> No, I'm a, no, a corporate no, shill, Morty. <laughs> the twist, right, is Saki Rick looks just like Jen, and uh, you know the, the, they're visibly identical standing behind the podium. So the question is, where's Rick? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh. All right. Oh, this is the next, next one. one. Yeah, uh, I see uh... anime in the background, and I'm already. Um, Don't you? No, no. What anime is? <laughs> yeah, what, you know. yeah, what, what anime is that? Um, if you <laughs> listened to the last Talk episode of the Mouthfeel podcast, you would notice that there's a volleyball in that, and we talked about that anime. It's Haikyuu. Oh, okay. What volleyball episode of your show would that be, Mel? Huh? What 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 number? Like, what's what's the episode called? Plug uh, it. Episode three. Uh, Tokyo Godfathers. <laughs> they, there you uh, go. Yeah. <laughs> but we talk about that anime that's in the background of this video. <laughs> Incredible. I hope I hope the Need for Speed posters on the next video so that you yeah. can talk about that on your next podcast <laughs> about how it's an anime. Yeah. You can. Sorry, you can I, t- I told it. Bloody Revolutions right before this that I was going to bring up uh, Need for, uh, Fast and Furious being an anime just to oh, piss no. me off. Uh, because I, of this. Uh, Wait just a second, guys. <laughs> well, uh, he's going outside to scream real quick. <laughs> Server <laughs> muted. Unbelievable. I hear a gunshot <laughs> in the background. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> <laughs> Well, then. <laughs> well, then. Uh, Wait, did Bell buy a gun now? No. No, she printed one. She's going to after oh. that comment, though. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> she, she, she's gonna buy a gun and, <laughs> off a gangbanger, then come and shoot me in my house. <laughs> like, <laughs> if gonna have the real... most ar- arsenal, the, uh, like the biggest arsenal of that anyone in this chat, just, just to kill, just to kill anime lover, anime haters. Sorry, not anime yeah, lovers. yeah, anime, yeah, yeah. That's how it starts. It starts with one crappy gun, and then you're like, okay, I guess I need twenty more. Right, of course. <laughs> so, so we're waiting for for Mel to just get the one crappy gun. Right. But, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm really disappointed fun. that I've I've known you for how long now, and uh, you still don't have a gun. Someone just buy her a high book. point, and then just get her rolling. Right? Just, let's just start her off. Yeah. Get her rolling on something cheap, <laughs> and then I mean, before long, and then you know, it's a, an M60, and it's yeah, yeah. Right. You, know what, you know what? I've got a mossy oak. High point C9 parts kit here that I'm just gonna put in the mail to you because I have your address. <laughs> wait, wait, is, is it, oh, is it yeah. pink mossy oak? Please be pink mossy oak. That's the no, that's it's the... not the pink one. <laughs> oh, it's, you it's should do an anime decal one. on it. Oh, I should. I should get know the... what this man did with the knowledge of having my address. No, <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. Sent me a bag of rice last year, like an envelope, <laughs> <laughs> envelope of loose rice. <laughs> what the hell did I do that? I forgot. Why, why did I do <laughs> that? I did that Sometimes I, I just do things and forget. I don't know. I mean, I do. It, but... it, it was a throwaway prank, but I don't remember why. I, mean, <laughs> I would be so stoked on rice. Mm-hmm. Bag of Actually, no, I'm gonna, I am going to get a hold of the tactical base to patches to get one of the Ahigao wraps. And just, uh... I will wrap the C9 and send it to you. So they're like a fifty pound bag of like wheat or something. Something that's like really hard to use, but like it has a use. You just have to really she just makes a lot of bread. Just so you should mail you should mail the rice like in proportion. So mail her one cup of rice and just on the inside of the envelope, just write add two cups of water to this envelope and cook. You're welcome, smiley face. <laughs> Sending the rice to people like a chain letter. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> just send this to seven friends. By the way, how much Minecraft does Ace have to play to pin it to his taskbar? Right. Yeah. So <laughs> I I have not played Minecraft in a long time, but when I did, I was in Mel's server, and it was insane. Yeah. She's like, I can't get this, I can't I can't get this to this quick enough. I have to put it on I have to put it. My Minecraft yeah. server was very fun. It was. Was it was it an NAP uh server? Was it NAP only? Oh know. no, we were vi- NAP violators. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. 
in yeah. Minecraft. <laughs> Yo, I, we can't even speak of the indignities uh, we caused in that server. <laughs> oh yeah, the villager slaughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you know, we, we locking up innocent villagers yeah. in your wall. <laughs> He's just and like, then, I may be uh, convicted of more crimes in Bosnia and Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, no, for any fans listening, but I'm like, actually, actually talking about Minecraft. Yeah, I, like, I'm literally talking about Minecraft here. I, but I no, gave literally, him, Your Honor. I gave yeah. them creative mode for like two hours, and when I tried to log back in, they kept crashing because they tried to make a villager army. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. So many, it kept crashing the server. It was very frustrating. <laughs> so I had to kill all the villagers. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you just pretended they were homeless people. You just pretended they were bums in the park. That's it. Yeah, no, unleash the cops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. unleash the mail on the bums in the park. Yeah. By the way, Mel, I did, I did love that tweet that you did of uh, with because you said something about um, oh, Dave tweeted, Dave Smith tweeted about oh. Uh, Oh, the guy at Applebee's that got arrested. Yeah, he said something, and you're just like, "Yeah, they should totally be at the the park instead, <laughs> like arresting homeless people." And I was like, "Damn it, Mel, that was good." <laughs> Dude got arrested at Applebee's. I'm pretty sure that's Ricky Bobby's dad. <laughs> Are you even American if you don't get arrested at uh, Applebee's at least once in your life? Right, exactly. But that was actually oh. part of my citizenship. Right, <laughs> it's like a rite of passage. You have to at least be kicked out of Applebee's at one point in your life. Only once? Oh, well, no, no, I'm saying at least once. At least. Yeah, at least once. Even at least, yeah, that seems low. But state. okay, that's fine, I guess. Hey, I got kicked out of my first uh, bar last week, so that was pretty fun. Nice. Good job. All right, what'd you do? So, we went to, so it was our, it was our uh, work Christmas party was somewhere else. And then oh, afterwards, gosh. like, <laughs> us and, like, uh, like, I worked at a civil engineering company. And so, like, it was me and my wife. Uh, another engineer and then another like designer and his his girlfriend and then two of the survey crew that we have mm -hmm. and we were like we were i was already like five jack and cokes in because it's open bar and i was like smoking a cigar and so we were like okay let's go over to the bar just right down the block so we went there and i ordered it uh, long island which is my go-to drink and then walked outside to smoke and when i smoke usually I, I spit sometimes so like i was outside and it was raining so i spit on the concrete and the bartender saw me through the window and said, hey, don't spit on my on our patio. I don't come to your house and spit on your patio. And I said, yeah, my bad. I won't do it. And one of the survey guys who was like really cut, he was, he was pretty drunk already. He said, you can spit on this dick. And <laughs> she was like, and the bartender was like, excuse me, what did you say? He was like, nothing. You're doing a good job. She was like, no, you said something. He said, you can spit on this dick. And then after that, I mean, it just went down. Finally, he, he like spilled his drink on her, on himself, and so she came outside, grabbed my drink, grabbed my wife's drink, but my wife was drinking a water, so she just grabbed uh, a water from her and like threw it away. And then oh like, God. and then she was like, "Get the fuck out of here!" And I was like, "Okay, I guess I'm leaving now." <laughs> Menace. <laughs> Incredible. All right, All right back to the cringe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys are trying to get away from your suffering, and I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Matt's from the past here, and I got uh, my second shot uh, for COVID today. Second shot, second I've shot. heard it comes with lots of side effects, so let's go ask future Mads to check. Hey, future Mads, how are you doing? What? <laughs> are you tired? Yeah. I'm are not, you sore? A little. Are you achy? No. Are you bored? Not really. Anything you want to say? Be responsible and go get back vaccinated. Mm, responsible. Jesus. What the fuck is That's a man? What you guys make of that? <laughs> that would that one seems suspiciously like a parody of like a very very hardcore parody of other yeah. TikTok videos I've, telling you to get vaxxed. I would think that too, but I've been ruined by the internet to where I can't discern parody from insanity anymore. <laughs> so it's sort yes, of like exactly. I just I don't know. God, Ace oh, on I mean, the internet too much? No way. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, I'm in the same, uh, like, same where you're at, because the same way, like, I can't tell a troll from just someone being actually retarded. Yeah, like, it's I, I, like <laughs> It's so hard. I can't, like, I can't, uh, most of the time, I, I have to, I just go up, I, people cannot be this dumb. It has to be a troll, but usually they are actually that dumb.
Yeah. The joke's on you. Yeah, right. my, general, my general instinct is if someone put this together, they probably meant it genuinely. I guess so. It just was really weird because, like, the thing of, like, her reading it off her hand, like, I'm so confused at why that was... I guess I I I don't understand that part of it. That just makes me makes me want to think it's like a parody, or she's like pretending like someone's at gunpoint forcing her to do it, which actually is kind of funny. I just feel like these are people who don't have personalities pretending they do, and like right. kind of yeah. emulating what they think is funny from like entertainment, and it just comes across as this like robotic fucking mm-hmm. blob of right. person. That's yeah. true. That's true. And way too much time on your hands. Like, yeah, yeah, go get a hobby that's worthwhile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah like, I was gonna say that anyone who makes musical TikToks is probably just not someone you want to associate with anyway. <laughs> yes, yeah. start well, podcasting. And, and like the Come Broadway on. gentleman, yeah, yeah. where's yeah. your parents? <laughs> Why did your mom not interrupt you like 17 times while you were making all of those awful characters? Like, that took too much time. That boy needs a hobby. Because they don't I have. I think parents. his mom. I think his mom did interrupt him too many times and found him wearing a wig and like pantyhose. <laughs> and like and so up. it just became really awkward, and she just stopped. <laughs> she's already she's given like, up. I don't, she's like, like, I don't know how to reach my little boy anymore. <laughs> now he's a girl or something, but only well, now Joe for Biden. a little while. <laughs> and now, and now he's Joe Biden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna go to confession on Sunday and be like, "Yeah, my son thinks he's Jen Psaki." <laughs> Every time I ask him how he did in school, he says, We'll circle back to that. We'll, uh... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this one looks like a dance routine. Yeah. Yeah, this one has ass out already, so it's going to be tragic. One for the boys. <laughs> I got two injections of Pfizer in my arm and if you to COVID You're not so soon you dance with me I'm vaccinated oh. Bitch oh, That was the whole God. thing? Yeah oh, dear God. It's like a short little flex to posture Is that their part. dad? <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, I can't be honest saying this. It, it, the look at her arm right there is just the optical illusion of like the angle. <laughs> she she just has a really small looks. torso. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Does anybody uh, notice her shoes on the left? Oh, yeah. she's two different shoes. Match. Yeah, and I'm, I'm confused about that. Does <laughs> she have like a broken arm or something? Just be old. Yeah, say, yeah, she has a broken yeah, arm. Like the probably guy in some the back. probably saw the shoes and broke her arm. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. But homie in the back looked absolutely fabulous. Well, did he have a hole in his sleeve to show off? He did, yeah. Oh, wait. No, they're also holding up their vaccination card. I didn't notice that at first. Uh, Okay. Oh, yes, they are. And she has a cast on her arm. Like, what are you doing? (laughs) You already have a broken arm. (laughs) The vaccination literally broke her arm. I think it's a family. A mom, a daughter, and a dad. What? I don't know. Yeah, the, the, wow. the, broken arm, not... the broken arm is just child abuse, actually. I think it's that's just... daughter. You're going to do this TikTok, bitch. The is mom, <laughs> and the gay guy in the back is dad. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, well, the, the, the you're modern, right. The, the modern American family. They'll <laughs> yeah. uh, come out eventually. They always oh, do. Lord. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the 12th just... season of Modern Family looking great here. <laughs> <laughs> If you look at their faces, you can kind of see it more, like the age. No, I, yeah, I think you're right. But it's just so odd. She looks, because she's wearing a shirt, like, like mm-hmm. a tween would, you know, just like a, a long shirt over her shorts or whatever. Yeah. She just looks maybe, like, the guy, maybe, maybe the guy's just a libertarian and he just married an underage uh, woman. <laughs> that's true. He has yeah. two underage women. <laughs> yeah, that's Richie Castaldo's cousin. <laughs> Oh, this is this is from Utah. Sorry. Oh yes, yeah, these are all Mormons. <laughs> oh, so they're oh. both his wife. Okay. Yeah, that, that's that, that's my fucking swing for Rebs because he hasn't showed up yet. <laughs> Twice, but anyway, um, yeah, that was uh, I don't know, I don't know if that was painful. If not, just it made me uncomffortable. Yeah. I, also, really they did that in public too, which always like yeah, I always love right. That. TikTok people in public because it it like I just think of everybody passing by like what the hell are those people doing over there just like doing multiple takes of a stupid dance and lip syncing it because there's no music it's just them out there right. just dancing to no music 
Right. Right? And God. really walking by and be like, don't it... you have a job to do? Don't, yeah. don't you work Bring back somewhere? What are you ridicule. doing? Yeah. Have you guys ever seen somebody doing a TikTok in public? No. Uh, I oh. think at the Grand Canyon, I saw some people doing some dumb shit. Like, they put up the phone, like, do a little, you know, a little jig, and then, like, have to fucking redo it. No, I live in the middle of like nowhere. I've never seen it. To, uh, to, to whenever you see that, just, just fuck it up every way possible. Right. Just like, I would, the rest the next, like, three hours fucking up every day. <laughs> I would just do something super embarrassing in the background and just mess it up. Just some little thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I was yeah, walking around. Yeah. <laughs> I would do the or just thing scream where... epithets in every take. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, I would do that thing where I stick, uh, you, like, you stick your finger through your, um, your zipper and your, um, in your jeans and just walk around like that. <laughs> I work on a college campus and I see them being recorded several times a day. It's horrible. Yeah. Oh, I believe that. I haven't had that much exposure. Mm-hmm. Like it's all the time. Is it all cringy like, too? Is it like, or is it all super cringy? They're the dances, so probably. God. Yeah, in this thumbnail, real quick, can we just acknowledge the size of the forehead of the girl on the left? <laughs> oh, that, that was a shovel. You could you could clear your drive with that. Yeah, dude, you you could land a seven forty seven on that thing. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> uh, uh, here we go. Yep. <laughs> reasons why to never get vaccinated. My body's a temple. My chakras are guided. I'll oh, only great. consume if I know what's inside it. Pharma and blue. Not sell us their shots while Microsoft pumps all our veins with their bots. The government's trying to control us before. I'll have to pay my taxes when it's 1984. Plus, I'm a Gemini, so you know. <laughs> what? Dude, what? all of those were legitimate reasons not to get the vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, do you want to get the vaccine dude? because you don't want to get the vaccine because you want to know what's inside it, you dumb fuck. What's wrong with you? Like, that's. <laughs> I'm... And, oh, and the most valid reason they had was the being a Gemini, drinking. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bleach thing was kind of weird. <laughs> it just can you watch like? Can you watch TV and see all those medical commercials with like the long lists of side, side effects? effects? Yeah, yes. and then it goes on forever. It's longer than the actual <laughs> advertisement for the drug. Yeah. How are, you, like, how are you exposed to these every time you watch TV? But when the vaccine comes out, like you think, no, none. Right. Yeah, I've literally thought about those commercials too much, and I want to know who's the guy who writes them. Because, like, oh, yeah, we have this drug for irritable bowel syndrome. Just, you know, make a commercial for it. And they're, like, running on the beach. Or they're swimming and they're walking their dog. And, you know, they're just looking happy. Like, why? How do they make these parallels? I just have, I don't get it. Right. Well, I, I just love them saying, like, your eyes will bleed, your ears will bleed, your ass will bleed. And, like, really, really quickly right over them running if, down the beach or in the mountains or whatever. If you experience death, please contact your physician. <laughs> I mean, you know. and, and then 15, you always know there's going to be, like, a class action lawsuit in 15 years. Also, advertise, that, what I really love is when you see those ads and then mm-hmm. also medical, like, drug adverts and the same kind of ad break. Yes. Like, hey, which which one's better, the, uh, the drug adverts or the ones for, like, uh, sanitary, like, stuff for women? Which, one is, which ones are the, the more cringy ones? Because the sanitary ones for women are also super funny of them just, like, <laughs> like running and, like, playing sports. And they're just, like, <laughs> and talking about tampons. Like, Yeah, just no leaks. <laughs> one of the one of the funniest one is one for an IUD, and it's hilarious. I wish I could find it, but I remember watching it on a pod, like on a podcast. They were making fun of it, but it is so like they keep screaming the name of the uh, the IUD name or oh something like that, and it's so oh funny. And those ones are those ones are hilarious too because they they're talking about it like it's this great thing, and like. And they just go on this whole tirade, like, in really fast about cervical cancer afterwards. It's like, whoa, <laughs> right. whoa, okay, hold up. Yeah, at least you're having kids. At least you are having this, you know, this terrible thing in your life. <laughs> yeah, at least you, you can get rawed now. on the daily, you fucking <laughs> slut. Sweet, awesome. But, you know, cervical cancer. By the way, that fatty, okay, just look at this thumbnail. That That's like a child. And you can't convince me otherwise. I don't care. And it says, look at this fatty. I, I'm not liking where this is heading. Yeah, this is Joe Biden's TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So 
she's heading out. Oh, 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 no. Let's go. This girl is on I fire. Hate it. Oh, my. This girl is on fire. Got a sucker, though. I hate it. I'm about yeah, to makes throw me, that. That makes me sad. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, so this whole thing reminded me of the uh, the little line item in the, the whatever stimulus bill that was for social media uh, influencers, like mm -hmm. set aside yes. some money out of that for them. I kind of wonder if there's a list somewhere of who's actually being paid. Probably. You, you can probably get it Freedom of Information Act. You know, I believe it's uh, Keith Oberman. Uh, Fox News, um, everything that actually this that uh, Melissa runs that's it all went to her. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't know if we got that at the beginning there, but I just, yeah, I saw where you were going. <laughs> we're waiting for Hannity to cover it. It's fine. Right. <laughs> oh wait, are the are these are these all Melissa's alt accounts? No, literally my old uh, TikTok account. I stole the handles. She is propaganda. Uh, Mel, what did these like? What were the numbers on these like view wise and like likes and shit? Were they pretty high? Millions. Oh, God. Four. Wow. And, like, are they getting like shit on in the comments, or is it people genuinely enjoying them? Um, I wouldn't say people genuinely enjoying them, but people like. I'm glad you're using your platform for good, you know? Oh, God. Oh, God. oh I this, love this one. I've seen this, this one, one before. Is hands I, down it. I, I hate it so much. I see this one, too. This is I, so I know. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is the last one. So, by the way, would you, oh, I've would seen you this one. I that? hate it so much. Would you classify the last one as child abuse? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Now, is it child abuse just because it's the COVID vaccine? If it was like the measles vaccine, you'd be fine with it? Asking the hard questions. You, like you're using her as like. <laughs> I would think because it's not. Oh, so it's not child abuse. Oh, oh, I think it's child abuse because like... of the exploitation. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So oh, it's not the act of getting the vaccine itself. It's using her as propaganda in no, like knowing what today's climate is like politically. It's gonna get like a lot of hate for that. Well, did you guys see the the picture that? Lee shared like M block Lee shared of uh the the get the woman with the crazy eyes and her son crying. Yes, yeah. yes. And, and it's like, yep, yeah, that's that's straight up virtue signaling child abuse and like normalizing yeah. it. It's like, ooh, cool, great. <laughs> that's that's the good guys now, <laughs> apparently. Mm -hmm. See, just judging by what you guys are saying about the last one, I'm really glad it lagged out on my end and I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, you want to play it again so you can? Yeah, yeah. Play no, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No, really, it's fine. It's fine. No, do it. Do it. It's oh, only oh, like God, please lag out again. Please lag out again. You're gonna get your dose, you motherfucker. Damn it, it's not lagging now. Oh my God, Becky. This girl is on fire. There we go. We got. We got. There you go. You know, I hate gonna, you. That's gonna right. and get stuck in my head now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I hate these stupid the parody endured, songs so much. Yeah, the, the, the parody songs. All the twelve videos, and now you've made it to the final boss. Mm-hmm. Uh -oh. This in. one is troubling for an Close odd your eyes. Me, but... Really embrace. Yeah, I've the seen this one before. Song. Yeah. It might be the last thing you ever do. Even if you've never seen this specific TikTok, you should probably already know what song it's going to parody from the opening thumbnail. But uh, uh, just let me ready? hang this noose from my ceiling. Oh my frame. god! <laughs> I, do know. I just, I just there gotta you guys, get ready. Everyone get your rope ready. All right. Everyone ready. Here we go, guys. Oh my god, I forgot we used to rate these videos. Hiya, Fiza. Hi, Ben. You got any extra shots? Sure, Ben. Sleeves up. I'm a Pfizer girl in a COVID world. I'm the classic mRNA tastic. Ninety-five percent. There's no argument. Got no contagion. With my Come on, Pfizer, let's go party. With a fast time. Come on, Pfizer, let's go travel. Only if essential. Oh, we're having so much fun. We'll have to.
to do this again for my second shot. Oh, oh I love you, Ben! Oh my god. No. Who's Ben? His, his voice is like the kind of Hollywood pervert I'm voice. Big head, <laughs> Hi, you fighter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it. Get out of 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 you Get out of it. Get out of Oh, you know, I haven't seen this one yet, and I've been absolutely convinced by it that I need a vaccination. Oh, yeah. The vaccination <laughs> is going to be in the form of, like, a whole bottle of Jameson. Oh, <laughs> right. uh, yeah. Why did they use the Jello shot syringes? That's the funniest part about it. It's, I don't know if you saw that. It's like the, the syringe you put, like, Jello shots in and give to, uh, like... College yeah. girls at a party. <laughs> they didn't want to show off their heroin syringes. So. <laughs> they, they thought it'd be more appropriate. Oh, now I'm gonna have that oh, stupid song God. stuck in my head for the rest of the night. <laughs> Damn it, Mel! Why don't you tell us to rate these during it? That would have been so much fun. No, it's been rating totally these during it. It, it, it's, always, it's always hard to gauge because, like, every single one you're like, oh, 10, 10 out of ten, terrible. Blah, you know, like yeah. it's like, of just the more yeah. pure suffering. Yeah, there's really it's hard to rate when every one is like the worst thing ever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So now that we've watched them all, we can go back to the beginning and we can start <laughs> over and then <laughs> we can rate them. Right. Yeah, no. right. Now in order and we won't stop until you get it right which one is the worst. <laughs> this, That's right, this, yeah. one, this one legitimately makes me laugh though. Like it actually like makes it's like it's I'm past the cringe to where I'm just laughing at it and I actually oh, yeah. get like You're... legitimate humor from it. Right. Well, that, there's always that stage, you know, when you're like depressed, and then you're like, "Oh, I'm just nothing matters. Who cares? It's, everything's funny." <laughs> you hit that, the, you hit the that level. Stage. Yeah, you hit We're the delirium. Yeah. yeah, it's just Luca posting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's literally after just throwing back an entire bottle of black pills. You're like, "All right, this is fucking hilarious." <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, well, this yeah, has convinced me so... I need to leave the city and. Uh, be a hermit in the middle of the fucking yeah, wilderness. yeah. you do buy it's a fucking, fucking awesome tractor. Dude. yeah buy a tractor dude buy a yeah, fucking buy a tractor, tractor baby. <laughs> <laughs> if, you've, if you've learned one thing today buy a fucking tractor <laughs> Ted should have done it uh, <laughs> well that's a certain yeah, that's certainly I don't, I don't a, think... a, a clip something to clip out Ted should have done it and just put that in the <laughs> that'll be the only preview it'll be, it'll be three seconds just Ted should have done it <laughs> Dude, Ted, it, would, Ted would not be on death row right now if he had bought a tractor. Just let right. you guys know. Uh, he would have been a much happier man. Mm, would he yeah, be like, on death row right now if he got the vaccine? Mm. No, he'd just be dead. <laughs> right. his, his heart would explode. <laughs> That's actually his lethal in Jackson, is, is <laughs> Pfizer. He becomes a Pfizer girl. <laughs> do, do you Imagine guys... a Ted Kaczynski TikTok from his chest. Oh, oh my God. God. tried it. <laughs> uh, Okay, you so should start a pro Ted talk. When you watch these, don't you actually feel more like like inclined to agree with Ted's whole thing? Like oh, like yeah. usually yeah. like usually like whenever like just regularly like I'm just you know on the internet or whatever I'm just doing my whole thing. I'm like Ted was kind of dumb. Like I think this whole like I think it was, it was great for like society. And then I watch this and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> let's burn it all down. Like all this shit. Ever go? Let's go back to uh, the monkey because this shit is wrong <laughs> you know that meme it's the evolutionary chart and the guy turns around and says go back we made it like oh seriously okay. it's, it's crazy how there's like organic propaganda just made by ordinary people who are like so wholeheartedly for this shit that they, they, they will yeah. do this of their own agency <laughs> yeah oh yeah yeah you're right because the one of the most blatant propaganda this year was like uh we can go on vacation if it's essential which, yeah. Yeah. what does that even mean? And what is an essential vacation? On. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All my vacations are essential, so I don't blow my brains out. So, like, what's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you just got to return to monkey, guys. That's, that's all you got to do. You got to move out in the middle of nowhere and get a house and put a wood stove right. in it and get a tractor. Yeah. And and get some chickens. Chickens, goats, <laughs> maybe some cows. Yeah, get don't get chicks. goats. Goats are fucking dickheads. What is that they mean? are. They escape and eat everything. 
Eat your parents, yeah, goats are magicians that can get out of anything you put them in. Yeah. But we are, I'm literally fencing off my property right now so I can get two dairy steers because people can't give those fuckers away because, I mean, you can't milk a dude dairy cow. I mean, you could, but it's it's pretty gay. Um, <laughs> so we're getting two of those and we're just going to have them in here and we're just going to have fucking beef and fucking chickens and we have our dogs and the tractor. So who the fuck there cares? There you go. And the tractor. Of course. And the tractor. Larry yeah. is our tractor, by the way. He's nice. great. Yeah. It's like, man, this dairy cow milk tastes really weird. <laughs> Very viscous. It's viscous. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's, it's so salty. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, my God. We were talking about Top Gear. That did make me think of uh, uh, that whole thing of, um, I don't know if you remember this joke about filling up your car with bull semen, how much that would cost. So they like just compared that to filling up with gasoline. And they were just like, so gasoline's pretty cheap, actually. Because if you use bull semen, it'd be $50,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh Those are the early options. <laughs> okay, guys. As could, could you not... You, I was say, we, we have to show also the Jonas Brother one that literally just came out like the other day. Oh my god, you're asking no. for more? What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. He's been converted. It worked. Joe Biden's hey. in that one. Our president. Like actually in it? Yeah, he's 100% in our it. Our due respect. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, okay. send it to me, Mel, and all. Let's oh, try this. While she finds that, I do love the 95% comment in this one, too, about the efficacy or whatever. Because have you guys seen that video where it's like Dr. Fadge talking in the beginning and then Lair of the Mountain King starts playing? And then it just goes <laughs> oh, yeah. article to article to article and it's just going down and down and down and down. That's one of my favorite fucking videos in the world. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly the one you're talking about, Trish. I have it saved on my phone, but I'm on my computer right now. So I Yo, can't my phone. Flint's in here. What's up, Flint? What's up, boys? What's up? Holy How shit. you doing? What's happening, man? What's going on? Oh, what's up? I saw a, uh, a little announcement a little bit too late talking about joining the cringe. I was a little drunk, and I decided, hey, I might as well get a heads up on the newest E-Militia episode. There you go. Hell yeah, dude. Although well, you missed most of it, but it's fine. I'm talking about jerking <laughs> off cows and stuff. Nothing crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my no, yeah. The usual E-Militia content. Yeah, yeah, now we're in the meat of the episode where we start learning. Do you, yeah, am, well, we haven't even y'all haven't even talked about uh, cops yet, which is the emotion just staple for every episode to talk about how bad cops are. But no, it came happened. up in that one TikTok, so we're good. We came up in that oh, one. Yeah, we the second, the second part of the traditional Christmas episode. Yeah. Oh, oh well, I mean, I could talk the... about the cops that just shot somebody about a mile from my house, um, yeah, oh, like you last talk night. About that so. while I try to find the video. Okay, yeah, so it was fucking bananas. So apparently they had this, like, I don't know, some order on this guy. I don't know what it was. It was I have the article on my phone. I don't remember what it was. But um, they were chasing him, and he starts shooting at random cars as he's driving by and shooting at the cop cars. And then, so the lady was home, and she heard all the sirens and sent me a video of all the sirens, and she's like, wow, I just heard a fuckload of gunshots. And then, so I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. So I pull up the scanner app that I have on my phone, and they're talking about, you know, all this shit. And they're like, yeah, officer involved shooting, and blah, blah, blah. And... Mind you, I live in the middle of fucking nowhere. There is nothing around me except cow like cattle farms and like the Shenandoahs and stuff. But they fucking cheese this dude out in bumfuck nowhere. Like, and you would hear them on the radio be like, "Yeah, I don't have any cell reception out here." Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, "Yeah, no shit, dude. There's nothing out here, man." And you somehow found a way to fucking smoke this dude in bumfuck Virginia. And literally, we're on the border of three counties, too. So three counties were all involved in this fucking chase and blowing this dude away. It's fucking bananas. I guess they found the one African-American male in Virginia, and they were just like, we gotta get him. Like, <laughs> right? <laughs> Jesus. So uh, shit was whack, dude. It was just last night. That sounds the lady crazy, heard him... man. Yeah, dude, the lady heard him cheese this guy from the house, so. Fuck. The did you ever find out what he did? Uh, no. They had some weird protection order on him. It wasn't a red flag order. It was something else. Um, it was like some mental order thing. And I worked with a lot of those when I worked at the hospital. Yeah. And it was, so it was kind of surprising because they don't, judges don't pass those things out like candy. Like, they're actually kind of hard to get. So I think the dude was pretty fucked up in the head from, from what I read. 
uh, man, there could have been they so did say much he other was... things. Uh, other yeah. things that could have like been done before this happened, you know. Like, oh, there's yeah, no, no there's no fucking like stress on mental health at all, you know. Like I, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm fucking. I've said it once. I'll say it again. There's 21 prisons in uh, Missouri, and there's two mental hospitals, you know, on either mm-hmm. side of the state. Mm-hmm. There's no fucking stress on it, you know. Just another Wait, fucking dude. mental health guy who's blown away, man. I get that he was fucking shooting at random cars, but fuck, like, can't. Oh yeah, there was, there was, there was like, I'm sure there was some indicators before this, so it didn't have to go that way, without a doubt. And like that's what that I've talked about it on a few podcasts and shit. Like that's what pushed me over the edge was when you know the cops of the hospital I worked at they refused to take this schizophrenic homeless guy in and actually get him checked out when he finally wanted to get checked out. You know, so I mean it's it's pretty fucked. Great but, man, I feel safer already. <laughs> Dude, anyway. um, I, do you do you remember that? Um, I don't know if any of you all saw it. I bet uh, Bootlickers Beware actually probably posted about it at some point. But there, I actually went to a church with a guy that uh, actually a cop that actually killed somebody in, um, like he like killed somebody. And he actually got convicted on it just like a couple months ago, which was actually oh, like I grew up. I grew up with him. I knew the guy. Like he dated a friend of mine, and like he like I you know went to like like I hung out with him not like just one on one, but like been around him a bunch. There's a cop, and you're like, yeah. And, like, I just remember, like, all the people at the church are all like, no, he's totally innocent. Like, he actually, like, he straight up gunned down, like, like a person. I don't think they even had, a, like, a weapon on them. Like, he straight up, like, just murdered them. And then they were like, no, he's totally innocent. And I was like, yeah, he's not No, innocent. it's fine, though. He feared for his life. It's cool. Yeah. It's, hey, I, I know that guy, and he would never do that. Uh, yeah, that's well, his. <laughs> so, oh, my and the friends that he dated, that he's a good guy. Yeah, and the friend that he dated, how many times did she come like show up with black eyes? Like, did she burn the meatloaf <laughs> all the time, or just some of the time? Yeah, I mean, it, I, we always wondered why she had all the bruises. She just said it was just you know they were just playing volleyball or something like that. But it was yeah, uh... she just fell down the stairs every day of the week. It's fine. <laughs> uh, she should yeah, talk clumsy so much. girl. She be so clumsy. Yeah. This, this is right here. So I have this the TikTok now. Is this one oh, of those God. metrosexual oh, like, no. White House influences? Yes. <laughs> It's a Jonas brother. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a crazy. thing. It's all the it's all the Jonas brothers, by the way. Just just one. It's 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 crazy. Oh, see, I, I heard I about it. this. What was up oh. with that? Oh, Imagine making your right TikTok right in front oh, of the actual mural. Yeah, if you join the stream, oh, this is like in front of the actual painting of George Washington, like the painting of George Washington, and they're making this TikTok. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys oh, ready? God. Unfortunately, all, shit. all right. This is the cherry on top. Are you vaccinated? Yes, sir. Hey, yo. Who's the president, man? Who's the president? Byron. Who's the president? Byron. What do you want to tell Joe Byron right now? What's up, baby? Take me out the day. Uh, do we get it? We got it. <laughs> what was that? Right, I which body know. double was that? Yeah, what <laughs> that? <laughs> that was Biden, uh, 3000 uh, underscore seven. I think. <laughs> Fresh out of the tank, looking chirpy. Yep. Yeah. Clearly it wasn't Joe Biden uh, because he had hands. <laughs> so there's that. His his skin was freshly pulled tight, looking nice and yeah. fresh. I am. They found some archival uh, footage oh. pre brain aneurysm. Right. Like, well, yeah, for sure. Like the Jonas Brothers were not with Biden. Clearly, like an aid filmed Biden. With the camera, yeah. we got it. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. film the boy. He didn't even know Sorry. what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. they were yeah. like, "Just say this. Stand here. Thanks." We got it. End of message. That'd be funny yeah. if they did. Like, that would be really funny if they just set up like Biden and they just like like for an hour they just record him saying a bunch of things and then they just kind of like, "Okay, we're done. We got the next like uh, press conferences for the next like four weeks now." So right. just, we can just he he can go back into hiding. Just... I have a feeling when, like, when Biden was told about this, he got excited because he thought they were still going to be the same age as they were a long time ago. You know, it's, it's like, and then... oh, I get to talk to it's... those young boys. Yeah, Hell yeah, do this TikTok. <laughs> right. I would love to meet the Naked Brothers band. Where are they at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
God. What is up with the timeline lately? Holy shit. Like, this I, is I just, the simulation is getting weirder and weirder, dude. You know what? As an explanation to everyone, that's why E-Militia episodes haven't been happening. It's like, what the fuck do we talk about? Like, drinking from a fire hydrant, basically. Like, there's too much to talk about. You know, I guess talk about it at all. Right, exactly. If it's like, if this, if anything from this year or even 2020 had happened like five years ago, it would be like huge news story. But now it's just, it's just commonplace. It's just your everyday thing. Do you yeah. remember 2016 and people were just like, this is the worst year to ever happen. So much stuff <laughs> happened this year and it was all terrible. And if you look right. back on it now, you're like, damn, 2016 was kind of balling, dude. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're was spoiled. Was <laughs> yeah. Dude, best thing to come out of 2016 is that fucking acceptance speech Hillary Clinton never got to give. Yeah. Uh, hell yeah. When that's she that's told that's her that's fans that's to go that's home. That's <laughs> that's <laughs> I still and need to look up that fucking through. video where she like cries on TV and gives her acceptance mm -hmm. speech and every like I heard I someone talked about it the other day and they're like, well, why is no one in her corner saying like, hey, this is a bad move. You should not do this. Yeah, <laughs> they're just letting her like slowly kill us all. That's probably <laughs> scary. Like, and well, it... that's the only way you can get a Clinton. <laughs> you just have to let them do it slowly themselves. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's true. She probably is very scary. She probably like yeah. I would not want to tell her. You like bring her any news and be like, he'll be like, hey Hillary, you might not want to do this because she would blow the fuck up on you. <laughs> the, you yeah. have the interns. You have the interns like drawing straws to see yeah, who's going to go give her the news. <laughs> when I when I did I my. When I did my internship with ICE, they had uh, a lot of the guys came from Secret Service, like they transferred from Secret Service to ICE, and they talked about the Clintons. They taught, well, obviously, fucking Bill was a coon hound and would just like fuck <laughs> randos in a fucking like hotel they were staying at. They talked a little bit about Hillary Clinton. It was really funny, and they just said she was just such a fucking bitch, like exactly what you would expect. Like they'd get off the plane and they would talk to them like bellhops and like get my fucking luggage and shit. And they would just like she not does. make eye contact with her ever <clears throat> and just like That's try true. to just not talk to her as much as humanly possible. Every interaction with uh, Hillary Clinton is like that Adolf Hitler uh, reacts videos parody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those things were baller in 2013. They man. To, yeah, they used to be so popular. <laughs> they used to be so popular. I went back and looked at uh, like a couple of weeks ago. I went back and actually looked at some of those oh, again. Some of them are really laugh. funny. They're oh, so, man, they're some so funny. <laughs> It'd be right into like a video game trailer, and he'd be like, ah! <laughs> "Yeah." I think uh, uh, we are approaching um over an hour. I thought so you were gonna say three I'm hours. Going to get started on the second half. Second half. Um, there's a God, second there's half. two halves to this torture. There's always yeah. two halves. Good. So you guys fans. just showed up of your own accord, though. Fans. You know. She's a terrorist. You don't know. Yeah, let's go. Give in to the demands. So it's over. We normally do like five, but maybe just like one Christmas gift recommendation. Um, that's not a tractor. Oh. <laughs> Damn, it. Damn it. Well, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> no farming. A bulldozer. <laughs> a bulldozer. A bulldozer. Get him a bulldozer. <laughs> oh well. Um. I, uh, Sal probably stole it, but I did see him post something today about uh, like a, it was like a bulldozer on sale for like twelve thousand dollars, and I was just like, that's pretty funny. <laughs> well, I'm a welder too, so we can make things happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's keep that on the DL. All right, we're just not trying to. <laughs> the real reason I bought my tractor, by the way. <laughs> right. What gift? Right. What gift do you think everybody should purchase for a loved one? Tractor. Um, hmm. Two pounds of psychedelic mushrooms. Big sack of rice. <laughs> 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 No, for real, like, the only thing I really want to, like, um, I don't know if y'all saw it, uh, but my dog, um, last night, uh, I, I put it on the floor, and it got quick paralyzed, so, oh. like, the only, yeah, like, it's back to legs stopped working, oh, so, no. oh, so, like, oh, that's what I want to get my wife for Christmas, to fix it. that's the only Christmas present. Oh, what? 
Damn, wholesome. Sad boy hours. <laughs> Sad boy hours, yeah. The next person's going to be like, I do good. All right, I'm just going to toss that grenade in there and then just <laughs> mute my mic. <laughs> Damn, that, that's wholesome. As Everybody well. erases their note that says something like a joke. <laughs> you can also joke. Um, I, it was just something that, like, it, it did happen. I just wanted to mention that. Yeah. Uh, but. Dog. Well, damn. And also a PS5. I really want a PS5. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> to distract me from the sadness of my dog. Oops. Everybody should my... get their wives... Ugg slippers, pink from Victoria's Secret. Those are really cute, and I think your wife would be very thankful if you got them for them. That's super helpful. I got my wife a gift already, like at the recommendation of a friend, and I was like, "All right, cool. I did Christmas this year. I did it good." And then my wife said, "Hey, uh, there's an Amazon package coming. Don't open." I said, "Okay, cool." And then there, like, there were several boxes more, and they just kept piling up. And five boxes later, I'm like, hey, did you get me more than one thing? She said, of course I did. And I already oh, bought the myself. Worst. I, yeah, and I bought myself a Christmas present from her. Like, I bought myself a new trigger, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> and so now I'm panicking, like, oh, fuck, I got to get her, like, a lot more shit. I'm going to be. Oh, I'm gonna I have be... a thread on Twitter yeah. of gifts to get your wives. <laughs> oh, dude. No, oh, screw yeah. that, dude. Yeah, Buy her a tracker. Hit me with that link. <laughs> Buy her a tracker. <laughs> Come on, hell yeah. <laughs> Okay. I bought you a tractor. Happy Christmas and oh, anniversary because it costs us a lot. <laughs> I'm still playing So I already got Elizabeth, my wife, of uh, something. You, but I want you to rate how I did this. So she wanted a uh, purse, but yeah. as we all know, guys cannot buy girls' purses. Like it's just no, impossible. No, no. You can't do That's it. That's true. Yeah. So I, I told her. You. I told her to buy it. She bought it, and then it got shipped to us, and then she wrapped it and put it under the Christmas tree. Am I good? <laughs> Am I still good on my Christmas gifts? Oh, yeah, you yes. are. That's outsourcing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. I'm, just, yeah, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just making sure I'm covered. Okay, I'm covered. I'm good. Uh, wait, did you pay for it? Did well, you know she's going to like it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I pay, it came out of my paycheck. How about that? It came, oh, my paycheck what? went into our joint bank account, <laughs> and then she took it out of there. <laughs> no, the baller move is to have her buy it out of her own account. Oh yeah, you have to get yourself something nice. Merry Christmas, I think. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna be yeah. anything, be efficient. Who owns a uh, I, some? Who owns a Jag would do. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew you would. So I decided. Right, so Mel, which uh, which UGG slippers do I get here? Is it do I get the ones with a little elastic strap? Yeah. Or the ones with no strap. Something kind of like fuzzy. Or, or the ones with like three straps? Or do I do the cross strap? Like what the oh fuck? Gosh. Hold on, let me look. Let me look really. Quick. Or do I just get like the little or... the low cut boot thing, or do I get the moccasin one? Other oh, this problem, this problem with buying shoes for women too. You can't buy shoes. For right, women. it's just too hard. This, this is this is where UGG fucked up in their marketing. They made too many goddamn options. <laughs> so men are just like, hey, I looked and there were just like nine thousand. So I stopped. Right, I'm gonna <laughs> send you. Let me. You get it yourself. Hey, Crocs no, made get the her same Croc flops. Oh, oh, I was yeah. gonna say Croc flops? It, Crocs made the same mistake because mm -hmm. they used I'm to have 30. just that, the Crocs and it was just one thing. Now they have all these stupid bullshit like options. Right, too many. Hey, I posted Maybe it and announced it. You could never have too many croc flops, though, according to the lady. She has two pairs right now. Oh, look, there's and... a painter print one. Amazing. I posted them in announcements. Also, buy, buy, your signif buy your significant other some PJs, dude. I'm bringing them back. You know what? doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Guy or girl, buy them a nice pair of pajama pants. It'll go a long way. I'm not going to go into it. I'm just saying. They're comfy. Or instead of that, it. you could buy them at Kubota BX2380. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> With the yes. It's a phenomenal three-cylinder diesel, 23-horsepower tractor, and you could get it with an optional front-end loader, deck mower, and anything that can go on a three-point hitch. Oh, oh, you're so motor. good at selling this, Trigy. <laughs> yeah, I'm that scared. <laughs> I live in the city, and I want a tractor. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, I think... I, honestly, a lot of people I know really like outdoors, so I'd probably get them some outdoor st uh, stuff like camping or hiking equipment, stuff like that. Well, or you can't a use a tractor or indoors, a tractor. so I think you're set. <laughs> right, you could all, yeah. That, I mean, I think a tractor counts as like, you know, camping equipment. 
Well, tra- a tractor is something you only use outdoors, so it's totally outdoor equipment. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Build your own yeah. campsite. It's perfect. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I, went, just, I went hiking with my tractor last week. Like, Whoa, what? Just yeah, this is my, <laughs> my tractor for the mountain. I just started driving the shit all over the place. It was great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. you, you just put the leash around the steering wheel, and then you put a brick on the pedal, and you, you're going hiking with your tractor. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't see you a downside here. Yeah. By the way, guys, also another really good um, – Kristen for your wife is a new hair hair dryer because that's also something else I'm around because that shit they always okay. have, or like whatever flat iron or some bullshit like that just get just just no you're you're treading you're treading too far into that territory because they got specifics so and bullshit. I don't mm-mm. no you just you just like the most expensive one or the one that you Listen, know gets the highest rated one you know I'm gonna tell you right now if you want to buy your hair your wife a hair dryer. The Dyson one, the new Dyson one, like. Oh, that's the one I was trying to sell her on, and she was like, "No, that's too expensive. It's like four hundred dollars." Yeah, it's expensive. See, that's weird because Dyson's known for vacuum, so I feel like it would just suck the hair right off. <laughs> it just reversed suck. It's like reverse blow, and it's they, they finally so it's, figured it's, it out. The Madman. <laughs> it's the only blowing yeah, that women do anyway. So, or married women, uh-huh. I'll give that. Mm-hmm. No comment. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no gonna lie, it's been a rough few weeks. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. You guys got any Christmas traditions that you want to share? Hmm, hammered. See, the oh, lady just looked at me and said, maybe I should just get Dyson tattooed on my lower lip then. Oh. And I said, oh. <laughs> Dogs, I like you. her, that's funny. <laughs> They're stupid and we don't respect them. Inside. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> My only Christmas tradition is that we uh we do gumbo on Christmas Eve. Every- Ooh, that's a good one. Nice. Yeah. nice. Yeah. Which is it's really yeah, it's delicious. Been doing it for like my my we adopted it. My wife adopted it for my but nice. Very cool. Yeah, so for my family on Christmas Eve, we would always eat our, like, we would do, a, like, a picnic on our living room floor, because my mm-hmm. parents, when they first moved into their house, they didn't have a k- kitchen table yet, so that's what they did. And then, so we have all these picnic-y foods, so, like, pigs in a blanket, and then, like, wings, and grapes, and, like, shrimp, and all this stuff. That sounds really just fun. Eat it. It's awesome. actually, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And then we started wrapping water chestnuts in bacon, mm-hmm. and oh my oh, god. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. It's By so way, good. <laughs> Also, pigs in a blanket, a one uh, snack. A one. Oh yeah, oh mm-hmm. yeah. I love me some pigs in a blanket. S S tier. It is. Mm-hmm. Vegan pigs. Shut the fuck. Disgusting. Oh <laughs> <laughs> <Hell, laughs> yeah, with the awesome food takes. Thanks, dude. She's like, you just gotta, bo- you just bowl them up real good, and you just. <laughs> you leave them under the hot water for several hours. Mm-hmm. With, the, with the uh, right. with the. With the croissant wrapping too. You, you just yeah, love a soggy croissant. <laughs> That's right. You know what's pretty crazy about pigs is I actually use my tractor front end loader to lift it up and gut a pig <laughs> that my neighbors gave me. So oh, another okay. perk of buying a Kubota BX twenty three eighty. Why didn't you get one? <laughs> That's incredibly handy. Dude, what's it like working for Kubota? That is pretty fun, isn't it? Oh, I, I'm working for free right now, but it's pretty sweet. I mean, I'm more convinced by the tractor propaganda than the vaccine propaganda. So, yeah. When did big tractor be. become a concern? We have to fight big against tractor. Big tractor. Yeah, I'm Trudy, very concerned. Trudy, you need to start a, uh, John a TikTok. Deere just, no, just do a TikTok where you just literally just try to sell tractors. Just, <laughs> just start talking. Make do parody uh, music videos about tractors and all this shit. Just trying to sell people tractors. It's gonna be Can the only platform he's allowed on. Oh, dude. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, the only platform he's ever allowed on is fucking TikTok now. That would be fucking... What t- What? What are we doing? 2021 Listen, is crazy. if you want to do TikToks to my Fox News account, you're more than welcome. <laughs> we'll see if you can get the, uh, the Kubota... Just get, just get the Kubota TikTok. I'm sure they don't have one. I can check later. I'm a pro. <laughs> I also got to check for Ted. 
You know, funny story about my tractor, actually. <clears throat> the first time I operated it, was I was on painkillers because I had just chopped, <laughs> almost chopped my finger off the night before with a yeah. circular saw. Excellent. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. Good times. You should always do that. Yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't operate any large machinery on, you know, opioids. Yeah, I mean, really, when you think about it, that's the optimal time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, whenever I want to whenever I want to do some work in the garage, I want to be sitting there with a joint in hand as I'm doing it. I'm like, I know this is how I'm going to lose a digit, but I kind of, it's just kind of the process. So, you know. Nah, throw that joint away. Do some heroin, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you think? Do some real shit, bro. All right. Smoke some crap. Yeah, pussy. Smoke come on. And then go out. Smoke some crap. You'd be way no, more no, that, productive. That was literally all the peer pressure I needed after this year. I just needed like three people to kind of lightly suggest it. I'm sold. Let's yeah. fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, imagine crap. not using bathtub meth every time you go work on your car. Yeah. <laughs> when I first got into construction, the fucking uh, I had this I had this buddy who would always go on different job sites to go, "Yo, who's got the meth?" And I would always laugh. And then one day he said, yo, he's got the meth. And another guy turns around and goes, yo, I don't do that shit no more, dog. Keep that shit away from me. And I went, oh, this is serious. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Hey, yeah, you think the, the all the contractors are lying about this shit? You don't think Yeah, I, I was just fucking around, you know? I, you know? It's like, oh, fuck, I'm uh, in, the, you know, in a different place now. Yeah, just smoke some crack and just start building birdhouses. Just, I mean, uh, fuck, they built roofs and fucking, not that, it did not take them long to build roofs, man. Now I know why. <laughs> All I'm know. saying is manual labor and being fucking out of your mind high, it, like, it goes hand in hand. Oh yeah, I didn't even get piss test on this last job. I was like, I, I, stopped, I stopped smoking for a while, like a month, and I, and I asked uh, one of my coworkers, I'm like, yo, when am I going to take this test, dude? I'd, I'd like to start burning again. He goes... We don't do that here. That's funny <laughs> that you think we're gonna do that. They just Dude, praying, do that. They're praying that we ju that you're just on weed. But like you know, if you're not <laughs> on just if you're on something more than weed, just don't talk about it. Okay, okay. I guess. Dude, <laughs> I, was in, I, was, I was in your boat. I was in your boat too until like literally yesterday. My boss was like, "Man, if weed was legal in Alabama, I would be smoking up every day." And I was like, all right, I guess they don't care about smoking weed. Yeah. <laughs> Just to let you know, I'm a cool boss. <laughs> which, 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 Flint, uh, by the way, Flint, that's the same boss that did the other thing in my interview. So, Oh, uh, the cool like, thing that you were yeah, like, like, oh, I'm good here. I'm amongst my people. <laughs> yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is, is this something you can say? <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's on you, <laughs> yeah, like, we, Maybe not um, the e militia podcast. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Can, All right, uh, end this episode very soon, and then you can tell us. Yes, I'll tell you at the end of the episode. If you want right. to, if you want to, if you want to hear it, go to uh, listen to Libertarian Friendship Simulator episode, whatever. <laughs> Easy killer. <laughs> Are you plugging Derek on our podcast? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm going to plug Derek and Davey, but not Flint. Uh, Thanks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no the love coolest. for the intern. I get it. <laughs> Fuck okay. you, dude. So, everybody... I did like that Derek's, uh, Derek's handle for a little while was get Trigy to, uh, to whatever. To fucking... <laughs> I can't think of the name right now. You're fucking libertarian. Yeah, I think it was like get Trigy back on Twitter or something like that. Or something like that. Or Yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, you got fans, bro. I don't know why. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. <laughs> well, thank you for your invite. I hope next year is even worse. <laughs> oh, really you know, next year we can review really track guys. I wonder. <laughs> I really wonder what like you could even pull next year for this. Y'all need to take a lesson out of my book. Just get the invite way too late and come on for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, that was truly the the Sigma move right there. Yeah, Hell yeah you guys want to just like plug all your socials or whatever, and then we can kick the box. Hey, you're the top. You start, dude. Oh, okay. He's <laughs> <Ace> the top. <laughs> I don't know on my uh, list. Yeah, on it's Twitter, an alphabetical order, there, Chief. On Twitter, you can find <laughs> me at Ace underscore Arcist, and uh, you should, if you follow me, you should mute me immediately. <laughs> oh. I'm Tower King Cole on uh, Twitter, and then uh, I'm also in the Tower Gang podcast. Uh, we have we have fucking 
uh, Dave Smith <laughs> coming up too. So that's going to be really fun. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> uh, Control Pew, where, where can we find you these days? Are you still on Instagram with a brand new account, or has that been... Yeah, I, I'm on my, like, 15th brand new Instagram account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rookie uh, numbers. Alleged, right? Allegedly dot Control Pew. Still on my first Twitter, though. I haven't I haven't pissed off the that, Twitter launch yet. Don't so, uh, Knock on wood. What's that? Knock on wood. Oh, no, fuck that. Um, <laughs> so... Allegedly not oh, control bitches. P on Instagram, at control P on Twitter, control P.com for everything else. 3D printing guns and whatnot. Flynn look. Oh, I I don't know. I didn't earn a I didn't earn a plug this time. You'll find oh. me. Yeah, whatever. Alright, fuck off then. <laughs> 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 uh, and uh Trigy, you, you you've gone like almost full cabin in Lincoln, Montana kind of mode. Yeah, no social media. I don't want to talk to any of you. You're all terrible. Plug your tractor again. You, no, you're, you're right. right. You're right. You if you are interested in buying a Kubota. <laughs> and you have to travel to the mountains of Appalachia <laughs> and find him and then get a, then get a Kubota from him. Can I get a, I get a quote from some, for some welding work on my... Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, my son. That could work. Yeah, that's all oh, the gosh. Can you hear oh, me? Oh, we got... There you go, and also guest spotting. All of Trigy's dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the dogs. I'm, I'm going to mute myself while you guys talk, because Mocha's going bananas. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, proof of life of Mocha, so that'll that'll please the uh, the masses. <laughs> Thank you, um, listeners, for putting up with our one episode every quarter of the year. <laughs> you know what this is? This is to strengthen you in case you ever end up in fucking Guantanamo or like some Thailand CIA black site. That would just be like, you know, clockwork oranging you. And you'll be like, you know what? I've prepared for this. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> yeah, you'll say thank you, Mel, as, as yeah. they fucking pull out your toenails and force you to watch, you know, TikToks. See you guys on Valentine's Day. Yep. Oh, God. And that, <laughs> <laughs> are, 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 we gonna be, are we gonna be helpful or harmful this year? How are we feeling? I'm gonna be harmful. Yeah. Hell yeah. Always choose violence, dude. <laughs> All right. That's that's the mood for 2022. It's the fucking it, with the gradual apocalypse over the course of like 15 Don't think years. We so. Split into two groups anymore because <laughs> Buckles and I would be on our own. Oh right. <laughs> there's, yeah. There, but there's currently like a a wham civil war uh in the Liberty community. So talking. Yeah, maybe we'll have to have just everyone on the same show and end segregation for a minute. <laughs> yeah, ending segregation. I guess, I ben guess we're are not always stupid. <laughs> not respect them. Uh, we'll fuck. figure it out. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry, yep, Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. See you guys later. Happy Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. Jubilous Kwanzaa. Hanukkah's over. Very busy.